In this video, I'm going to take a look at AMP and give you my long-term price prediction on how high I think it could go. Watch the whole video to find out. So I gotta give a shout out to Divergence Seeker here on TradingView for their colorful idea that they have posted here on basically it having a potential 545% move here. So if we fast forward on their prediction, it hasn't followed the line that closely. And seeing this made me want to take a closer look at the chart to see how bad it's really actually looking for AMP before I give a price prediction for it. So if we look over on trading view here, what really is bad about this chart is there's a very significant level of what used to be support here, right at 00887. And as you can see, we broke through that in earlier in April here. And now we're stuck down here and we're going to have to battle through this as resistance and really need to get back over it to be bullish again. So in the short term, at least, that is a sign of bearishness. And if I pull up my super trend indicator, we did just transition from a, a bullish pattern to a sell pattern here. So between breaking through that level of support, getting my super trend sell signal, AMP is looking bearish as of right now. Now this is crypto, this is AMP. There's many ups and downs in it. So that's just part of the game. And on the positive side, if I hide these trend lines here, and if we draw just a basic, simple old trend line, we are still an uptrend. So I would say at some point we're going to get kind of stuck here and it's going to figure out which way to go. So if I wanted to act like I could predict the future, really just based on how this could potentially play out here, where this intersects, I would say that we're going to know at least by the beginning of June. So be beginning of June, maybe it's going to kind of do something like this. And I'm sure it's going to depend on the macro state of the crypto market. But hopefully if we can do something like this, then we're going to be looking good and we're going to be on our way up to our path to new all time high. But if we do break down here, then it's going to most likely, let me actually pull up a fib auto indicator here. Get some real levels to look at. So let me draw a new bearish case line. So if we break through here, I would imagine that this would be our main bounce point before we start looking at something like this and then this and then this, not what we want. So that's what we're looking like in the next month or two. Now, how high do I think AMP could actually get in this current bull cycle that we're in? So it peaked out in 2021, just below 10 cents, at least according to CoinGecko. So if that's off, don't be mad at me. Blame CoinGecko. I was looking at, based on market cap, what its potential could be. And I was looking at something like Stacks. Uh, Stacks has a four point, roughly $5 billion market cap, which is close to a 10 X uh, from where AMP is now. And I definitely think that that's doable with its current supply situation. So now clearly that's right about at where it's old all time high is. So could it make a new all time high? That's tough to say with the market cap that it would have to be. I mean, let's say it could get to what Litecoin's 
market cap is right now. Even then, that would only be a 14x. So I'm going to be conservative here and I'll say that a 10 cent amp is definitely possible if we have our bull cycle continue on like we all hope that it will. So that's what I think for AMP. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.